Hey, it's Dee with Dee Says Photography, and someone asked about doing um, a clean edit and how to make it not look so dull on just a plain clean edit. So I'm just going to do a really quick clean edit on an image. Um, this is the one I picked. The main thing to start with is make sure you get your white balance corrected and your exposure corrected. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't expect that, y'all. Um, on here, I'm going to pull my exposure down just a bit. Uh, another thing to note is my camera calibration is set to camera neutral. Um, you can actually slide through and see the difference on all these. Adobe Standard. Camera landscape. You can play around with these. On um, um, each camera has a different, obviously, setting because it's camera profile. Uh, I like neutral because it's the least amount of contrast and it's pretty flat. And I like to be able to add my own contrast. So I pulled the. I'm gonna pull my highlights down just a bit because they were a little bit bright on the top right there. I didn't like that as much. I always pull my shadows up just a bit because I like the little extra light in the shadows. But I pull my black down to help counteract some of that. And it helps add a little bit of contrast. Alright. And the white balance. I'll say we'll go up just a little bit on the warmth. That shouldn't look too bad there. Usually I use um, the dropper, find a neutral point, black, white, or gray, neutral gray would be best. If you don't have anything, just find something close to it. And then use, this may take time to do, but practice with white balances and to learn with your eyes is the best for me. I think this got too much magenta, so I'm going to pull that back boy down. and just tweak it until it matches sort of what you will like it. I painted it more towards um, <clears throat> backgrounds, clothing, especially if they're wearing black or white to make sure they actually look black or white. And then if they have skin tones that are off the color cast and stuff like that, I'll go in and correct that later in Photoshop. So, let's see, before, after, and that's just a few little changes in your ACR panel that you can make. Like I said, make sure you correct your um, exposure and your white balance. It's the main thing to start with. Always try to aim for it right in camera. If you don't, um, if you shoot raw, it's easier to fix it in ACR, but my main goal is usually to get it pretty dang close to what I want it to be in camera. If not, correct. Just a second. Alright, once it's open here, um, to do a clean edit, it's an actual just clean edit. You can really just do it in ACR because there's not much you're adding to it anyway. You just want to get your contrast and such down, but the, and just make sure your white balance and your exposure is correct. If you're pulling in Photoshop, I would do a levels layer or curves, depends on what you prefer. And a little bit of a mid-tone boost. So this is my mid-tone right here and levels 1.1. That's about where I usually go. Most images, I'm going to add a contrast quite a bit because I like the contrast on this particular image. And this is for my highlights. And um, I generally pull it up. But like I said, he had that hot spot on the forehead. So I'm actually not going to even mess with that. But just a Bit. I may even want to go in here and pull down my heights just a bit. And I mainly just go in here and just tweak it per image. So I may go up to 1.15 because I like it better. So that's, I say so a lot. Sorry about that. I am such a rambler. I'm sorry. It's 1 o'clock in the morning now, so that's why I'm rambling. <laughs> but this is all I really do for clean edit if I didn't want to do anything extra. Personally, I like those little vignettes around it, so I, I do that really quick with a gradient. Black. Radial. 
been playing around with this part just a bit. Change the overlay. That just sort of brought the focus towards him a little bit more. But well, if you know the exposure and your white balancing camera, the main thing you need to do is just um, add some contrast, which would be pulling in your blacks and your highlights in just a bit, and um, a little bit of mid-tone if you need it to brighten it up a little bit, especially around the face. So that was before, and that was after. I'm going to open it up in um, RAW again and put all the defaults back. So this is what it was like whenever I first opened it up. It was, like I said, a little bit over on exposure there. And this is the clean edit finish, what it would be in um, Photoshop. Pretty quick, pretty simple if you're doing clean edits, which is great. And the best thing about that is you don't have to spend a ton of time. And you can really just get it correctly, a correct in ACR and just pull down your blocks a little bit more. Hopefully I'll help you guys learn a few things. <laughs> Thanks.